out of feet, I can now score high or low. So I might go in there. You've got to deal with it. I want to see your stance now. Or I might take the next ball and I might run it in. Run it in. And you can block feet or you can do what you did with them. Push your work, push your work. That's better. Hands down. One on one, one on one, one on one. Got to go round him, got to go round him. Brilliant. Excellent. Hit. Now, stop. Go. Play. Brilliant. Great, great technique. Brilliant. Play. 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 Every time he makes a save, you lot got a clap. What a save! Let's go, let's go! Do you want to get in? Do you want to get shot? Open, open, open! I'm gonna get you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. You're back, you're back, watch your back! What is it? Two types of blocks. The big man here, start of the practice, how many saves? So again, instead of the game actually just being a flowing game, which is what I'm going to do next. Now, if I wanted to do crossing, what else could I do to guarantee we, we get enough crosses for the goalkeeper? If I'm working with young kids, put my big goalkeeper in, you've got three minutes to go, big man. Then the sponsor's lounge is just on the top of the roof, which is where you'll be. On the goal. So if he was Madrid, I'd start with the young ones. He's got to take it cross. I'd go into the techniques. He's got to go off his inside leg. Keep. Brilliant. And then we play. The only way he could score on this game would be a throw. Yeah. So now we've got distribution, longer throw. So so far we've done javelin, we've done roll, we've done clip with both feet, and we've been going an hour. Okay, big guy. Did we affect? Did we affect the goalkeeper? How many times did these guys? Another session, bro. You will get that on video. How many times did you go past three yards when we went into the game? I don't think you did. So unless you're viewing it, I didn't see him go past three, unless you had to come and block. So again, try it. Don't knock it. If any coach tries something, don't knock it till you try it. The next day, I might put four yards. And all of a sudden, they go to four. And like we're back to the Schmeichel story, the ball's gone past them. Coach, I was happy you're going three. Okay, go three. <coughs> then leave both right. And what you'll find is the foot will get caught between the two. Is it easier to make a save at three yards there or trying to get four there? Yeah, which is better? You can't spring from there, can you? But I can do everything from here. Balls of feet, I can take off both ways. Yeah? Outfield play, did you get something from that? Yeah. Yeah? Was it real? Do we have tackles? Yeah. Shots, tackles, recovery, blocks, defenders. Like I say, it's not just the goalkeeper that defends, that's collective defending. I'd be now doing my video and bringing the defenders into that and saying, when you got round behind the big guy, different, different class. When you got round, I would show you that. So you build your unit of your defensive unit, your back four, that might be two full backs and the centre half and the three. Or a whole midfield player and your two centre half. And all you're doing there is you're building relationships between you guys and you'll remember. So when you definitely go in behind them, you're going to remember that, which I think you probably did. Okay, any questions to the group? Any questions, guys? All make sense? How much of that can you take? All you've got to do now is what I said. Be coaches that take it away and say, at my age group, I'd have to monitor that. In my age group, I might be able to do that. Pitch size is important. I tend to see pitches where you need to open the pitch up sometimes. If they're not the best players sometimes, give them a little bit more space, otherwise you don't get enough. The very fact that you as the coach at the side, what does that guarantee? What does it guarantee? They're going to start with a save. They're actually going to start, so the practice begins with bang, save. I did that with Rennie Moonstein at Man United, and we used to start it where the defenders had to head the ball. That was a three minute game. So the ball had to go in, Village had to get up, and then we'd play. Other end, Wes Brown, John O'Shea, they had to head the ball. Then we said, right, now goalkeepers can get involved. Communication began. So in terms of that format, as opposed to a normal game, most outfield coaches appreciate that. Guys, I want to thank you. Absolutely different class.